Hello everyone, welcome to this video series in which we are customizing the root underscore starter theme and uh, we will be uh, doing that using the SAS uh, library. I have already configured SAS in my system. So this is the version which I am using. Now I have just configured my uh, theme, the WP Love theme that I have already downloaded from the underscores website and I have included the bootstrap SAS library you can download it from here if you want from the git repository or from the bootstrap website the, from this URI and I have included uh, using the old school method of copy paste I am not using any development uh, framework or any uh, deployment frameworks right now not I'm using any task runners like grunt or gulp but um, we are doing it uh, very simply just we have copied the bootstrap.scss file in our sas folder there is a folder called bootstrap which contains all the all the required sas files so we have just copy pasted it this is just to show you and uh, to simplify the things and uh, in the in the next videos i will show you how you can customize it or you can how how you can configure it using the task runners or as well as the package managers that we will be using later so if, if you can just open the style.scss you will see that you have all the uh, all all the scss file imported here which are available on on this in this folders the best part is the modularity of this theme uh the code is very modular it's easy to read and you can easily configure it so what we'll do we will just include bootstrap here so it will call to this file bootstrap.scss and you'll see that it's including the files in, uh, files in this folder like bootstrap.alerts, bootstrap.mixin you can remove any file which you do not want any module which you do not want before that I will just start this watch So I've just browsed to my folder. Now what I'll do, I will just start the SAS watch and my scripts, uh, the SAS file is in SAS folder, SAS, and it would be style.css and I have to compile it to style.css. So, Wait, so you can see the SAS is watching for changes now if you modify anything like I have just included style.scss but I have not saved it if I will save it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay sorry for that so it's the changes as soon as the changes is detected on this file it will write or you can say it will update this style.scss so if you'll see you have all the this is from the bootstrap so you have all the code from the bootstrap as well now if you go back to your theme you will see some of the bootstrap style here so you can say some ha uh, heading style has already been imported and included in this theme in the next uh, video I will show you how you can customize your uh, markup of underscores theme to match it to that of the bootstrap without even touching the HTML or the PHP templates of the theme so we don't uh, we can easily uh, modify the code and we don't have to you can say do it at multiple places 
so we will see it in the next uh, video thanks for watching if you like it please subscribe thanks very much